So guys, before we get today's video started, I did want to warn everybody that there will be graphic content in this video. So if you're watching it on a computer or with your kid or something like that, I would highly recommend you not watch this video. Um, there might be explicit language and I'm going to show really like nasty looking crash footage. So if you're watching it with somebody that's a little squeamish or something like that, this is your moment to click away. Um, I'm going to roll the intro and then we'll get started. Hi right, guys, welcome to a vlog. This vlog is going to be a little uh, lower key, not going to be all happy and flashy because I've got some serious stuff to talk about and it's stuff that I don't really like talking about because it involves my friends getting hurt and stuff like that and that's just not a good time for me. Found this random parking lot and everything's closed. There's like literally a soccer game going on over there. Really cool shot. I'm going to do photos there at some point. So if you guys are up to date on all the vlogs, you will know that I said in a video recently that we just had the Georgia meetup, the 2016 or Georgia meetup, and uh, everything went great except for one of my buddies actually got hit, and he got hit really bad. And I talked a little bit about it on the vlog that I made, but I didn't go into too many details because I didn't know what details I could go into. I didn't know what he wanted me to say. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I have footage that will be in this video of the accident. It's pretty messed up, so I'll warn you before I show that footage, I'm not just going to hit you with that. But what I'm going to do is go up here and take a ride. I'm going to show you the area that it happened in and we'll get into all the rest of the video. You guys know that when you get hit on a motorcycle, one of the downfalls of a motorcycle is you don't have anything protecting you. And Well, this whole situation is just really sobering and kind of reminds me that you know you got to really be careful what you're doing because from no fault of your own from no fault of your own you could do nothing wrong and you could get taken out and not only can you get taken out you can get taken out hard so part of our route for the meetup was going straight through that red line we came onto this highway and the highway is not really the bad part that's where we uh we actually had a cop leading the way they were stopping traffic and one of my buddies and his girlfriend on the back. Wow, Crow, really? Like, you're gonna let me run into you? We had this whole highway shut down. It was nothing but motorcycles. We had 600 motorcycles on this highway. So basically what would happen was when we go through an intersection, we'd have a certain group of people that wanted to block traffic. So we'd have one guy over here, then we'd have another guy on the other side of the street. And what that's to do is make sure that nobody tries to cut the group off it gets really dangerous as they do that. The group is now separated. Certain people don't know the route. So you can see with that how bad of a situation it could be if a car pulled out or if a car pulled out in front of a bike. If it's somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, they're gonna plow right into them because so much stuff's going on. I don't know the exact location of the incident, but because I was leading the group obviously and this happened at the very back. All of these intersections are relatively the same, so I'm going to show you basically what happened. Coming up here, we get in the left lane. So for the sake of the conversation, let's pretend that it happened at this red light. This is perfect, I'm actually getting a red light here. In the front of the line, we'd have the cop go up front, block traffic, and then we'd all start going through, and we'd have our guys on the side. Well, my buddy, who had his girlfriend on the back of the motorcycle, was blocking traffic for us. He was on the side of the road right up here. Granted, again, again, this is not this specific intersection, but let's just pretend it is. You've got 600 motorcycles just going down this highway between 60 and 80 miles an hour towards the back. My buddy was right here and is run into from the back by a motorcyclist, not paying attention to what he was doing. I don't understand how that happens. I don't know who did it. I don't want to know. The point is, a guy not paying attention to what is in front of him. He could, he had all this stuff going around and he had to focus on one thing and he failed at that. Runs into my friend and his girlfriend at 60 to 80 miles an hour. 
somehow glances off the motorcycle but throws my friend and his girlfriend into the air. So enough of me telling you guys, you know, what happened. I'm about to show you the video and I want you to remember this is not a good video. Like it's a guy getting hit really hard on a bike. So if you don't want to see that, click ahead by a minute and watch the video from there. And that way you'll be able to skip the video. But here's the footage of my friend getting hit. So as you guys can see, it was a nasty, nasty incident. And what pisses me off is the entire thing was avoidable if everybody would be paying attention to directly in front of them. I realize it's a big group, right? People get really excited, but at the end of the day, you were on a motorcycle and you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Anyway, that friend of mine was Dell. You guys have seen him in videos here and there. Dell has been a good buddy of mine for years. He is an amazing person and I love the guy. So seeing this happen, I'm obviously extremely affected by it. At the end of the day though, even if I didn't know Dell, he was a writer helping other writers. They got put in a really bad situation because of somebody else. And that kills me so right now Dell is actually at his house he's been in the hospital he's gotten multiple surgeries on his leg we actually thought Dell was going to lose his leg because of all of the problems that this caused regardless we have started a GoFundMe account for Dell we're gonna try to raise as much money as we possibly can to, to put a small a small dent in not only his medical bills but all of the lost work and just like providing for his family in a time where he is not able to. Again, this happened to somebody who's not only an awesome person, but was doing something to help other riders so they could stay safe. Which is what is so screwed up about the entire situation. Like, not only did Dell almost lose his leg, but his girlfriend broke her ACL and all types of stuff. So their entire household is just totally out of work right now. Our goal for this campaign, like I said, is going to be a small dent. We're trying to raise $30,000. I know that seems like a lot of money, but hospital bills, lost work, not being able to work for months, that is a drop in the bucket for how much Dale's gonna be looking at from no fault of his own. And that is messed up. 30,000 people will watch this video, I promise you. If everybody that watches this video donated one dollar, we would raise enough money. We would raise enough money to make that goal and help Dell out a little bit. If you're not able to donate even a dollar to the campaign, I totally understand. If you could share, if you could tell people about the campaign, that is a contribution. I'm making this video. I'm also going to throw $100 in the pot just to help things get started and make a little drop in that $30,000 bucket. This is a really, really crappy situation that happened to a really good guy doing a good deed, and that should not happen. If you are a writer and you are writing in a group setting, it is your responsibility agreeing to do that ride to pay attention to what is happening right here and make sure that nothing happens on your part. It's because of somebody not paying attention that put Dell in the hospital and has now put him in a seriously messed up financial situation. I know the riding community is freaking awesome and I know we can come together and meet that goal. And trust me, do not have the mentality that, oh, I can only donate a dollar, that's not gonna matter. Every dollar matters. Every person donating one dollar could make a huge difference in this guy's life. 
I know a lot of you guys don't know Dell, and that's fine. The one thing I can tell you is I know Dell, and I know good people. I keep good people in my life, and I've known Dell for many years now. And Dell is a writer. Those are two things that I need to know about somebody before I want to help them out. I've known Dell for years, and he is one of the coolest dudes I know. Will help me out with anything that ever happens, and I know for a fact. If I was in the same situation, Dale would be doing the exact same thing. He would donate to the account, he would talk about it, he would share it with all his writing buddies, because that's what us writers do. We take care of other writers. This is a good writer that got a really bad thing happen to him that he did not deserve, and I am not gonna sit back and let him just deal with that on his own. Not only from being a friend of mine, but from being a really cool writer dude. And those are the type of people we need in this freaking community. Guys, I have nothing else to say. You understand the severity of this situation. And if you guys do anything, you don't gotta like the video, you don't gotta subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to go check the GoFundMe page out. It's gonna be the very top link in the description. At least go read it. At least go read it and see what happened to Dell read about what's going on donate a dollar if you can any amount helps i'm sorry for the kind of down video today guys and we'll be back with regular videos on friday but we got to take care of business right now i'll see you guys on the next video you guys take it easy please ride safe and please pay attention to what you're doing on these two-wheeled awesome machines that make our lives amazing i'll see you guys on the next one later And I know Dill's going to be watching this video, so buddy, <laughs> for one, you better have watched to the very end of the video. <laughs> and two, I love the hell out of you, man. I am here every step of the way to help you through this entire thing, and so is my awesome people, because I know my subscribers are badass. You guys say hey to Dell for me in the comments, and let's get this dude some help that he really needs.